Hey guys, it's Tahira and today I'm doing a fall book recommendations video and also a few books that are on my like fall TBR, just books that I want to read this season. By the way, I hate how empty my shelf looks, but I it's hard to bring books back. Books are heavy. It's hard to move them. But I have about like 10 books that I think would be like great to read in this season that sort of have the fall vibes as well as 10 of my own books that I want to get to in this season. Now in my head, September, October, and November is fall. So we're pretty much almost done with September. So I only have like a couple of months to get through these books. So like, really, am I going to get through them? I'm going to say yes, but most likely we'll see. But I'm just going to go ahead and start. The first book that I will be recommending is Night Film by Marisha Pessel. This one is a like dark mystery thriller book that I recently read. I just read this like a few months ago for a video where I was reading the oldest books on my TBR. So I read that one. This one is pretty big. It is 600 pages, but it follows this man. His name is Scott and he is this like person that's investigating the murder uh, or I guess suicide of this girl named Ashley Cordova who is the daughter of this like super famous um, director and the director's name is Stanislas Cordova or something but he's like this super um, well-known director who directs all these like super dark and disturbing films and no one really knows who he is he's super mysterious he doesn't let anyone know about his life his movies his production and so Scott kind of is thrust into this world as he tries to figure out what happened to Ashley and he gets like more into the world of like Stan Cordova, I'm just gonna call him Cordova, Cordova is like movie world I guess. This one it felt really really long when I read it but also it's such a interesting journey. This one I would definitely recommend because of the dark like sort of um, mystery thriller vibes that come with it and also I feel like there's um this one also has multimedia so it's like a normal book but it's mixed in with like images and pages from websites and newspaper clippings and magazine articles so there's just a bunch going on and i feel like it really really um thrusts you into the world and makes it so much more interactive and makes it all honestly so real i ended up giving this book i want to say like three and a half ish stars so like i enjoyed it there was just a few issues i had with it but overall i would actually like really recommend this book it's like such an interesting book and such an interesting and immersive journey that I feel like at the end I really felt like the characters were super real just because one the book is pretty long and two it was just like the multimedia just brought everything to life. Next one is switching genres is a fantasy romance and that is Heartless Hunter by Kristen Citarelli, Sicarelli, I don't know how to pronounce her name, but this one is a fantasy romance following two characters. We have Gideon and then we have Rune. Um, Rune is a witch and Gideon is a witch hunter, so of course there are enemies, but Rune is able to hide her magic, so no one really knows who she is except for like the closest people around her. And then they decide to do like a whole fake dating thing because of certain reasons, and of course, like a witch and a witch hunter, like they don't know about it. Like she knows about Gideon, but Gideon doesn't know about her, so obviously like it's them going getting closer and to each other like relationship wise but then of course tensions arise because you know things are gonna get revealed about people and there's gonna be a bunch of drama this one i ended up giving four stars so i really really enjoyed it i think this is one of the fantasy romances that i would highly recommend like I, there are a few others that i've read like honestly this is a genre that i don't really know too much about but this one was just super super fun i really liked the tension i feel like there actually was tension and then I really liked the romance development as well. Like just knowing that they're en supposed to be enemies, it just brings so much to the story. And overall, the magic system was also super unique. The way that like Rune went about like trying to get her powers because witches need blood, but obviously she can't cut herself. Like they usually self-harm to get blood, but obviously she can't do that. Otherwise people will know that she's a witch. So she uses her menstrual blood to like use that for her magic which i thought was super super interesting and unique and i've never really seen like magic like that ever so i thought that was a really interesting idea but yeah definitely great for the fall vibes it's dark it brings a little bit of the romance and i feel like it just gives those vibes the next one is the familiar by lee bardugo this one is a gothic fantasy i guess about this girl and she is sort of in the world of 
high society and she has powers but she can't show them so it's kind of following the same one journey of her trying to hide it and then one day her powers are found out by someone and she has to enter this competition and then the story kind of starts from there this one also has like again it's gothic so i feel like anything gothic to me gives fall vibes so yeah i would definitely recommend this one then we have one of my favorite books ever and that is the nevermore series by jessica townsend this one is a middle grade series but i absolutely love it i feel like i've talked about it so many times but this one follows a girl named morgan crow who is like this 11 year old girl and she is cursed the dot she was born on like the unluckiest day of the year or like age or whatever and she is thank you she is cursed to die on the last day of the next age the ages are like I want to say 11-ish, 10, 11 years. Of course she doesn't die. She instead gets taken away to this magical like land called Nevermore. And she has to compete to join this like elite society called the Wondrous Society. And then the story kind of starts from there. And then the rest of the books kind of take place in Nevermore with her dealing with different situations. But this one is super, super adorable. Since it is middle grade, I feel like this is so wholesome. And just like the friendships that she makes, the people that she meets along the way and i feel like middle grade just makes everything so whimsical and i feel like we need that because i feel like adult is just so adult books are sometimes just so serious that just like the enchanting feeling the whimsical feeling like usually happens in younger books i feel like and if you're looking for that i would definitely recommend nevermore it's just so so cute and the stories on the books are fantastic i love the story i love the characters and i like every time there's a new book that comes out for this that's like i have to pick it up because it's just that good i absolutely adore this series then we have another like witch witch hunter book and that is serpent and dove by shelby maherin i believe we have lou and we have um reed i literally just had to search them up because you know me i never remember names but lou is the witch and reed is a witch hunter and this one is also really, really good. I really like the writing and story and I feel like the tension that just brings into like this concept just adds so much to the story and this one did it really, really well. So I definitely recommend Serpent and Dove. The next one is a contemporary thriller, I guess, and that is Ace of Spades by Frida Abika Niamide. And this one is about this boy whose name I completely forgot, but he is going to this school that is majority white and he's like the only black person or like one of the only two black people there. And so he has to kind of deal with the, so he has to kind of deal with that situation. And then there's this anonymous like texture, kind of like gossip girl called the Aces and Aces is sort of spilling people's secrets. And so the main character, Devin, I literally had to search that up, but Devin is like trying to figure out what's going on and then a bunch of secrets are revealed. This one, I don't know, like something about a school setting just gives fall to me, obviously because school starts in the fall. And since this is a thriller, I feel like fall is such a good time for thrillers and I don't know when I was just this one I don't know what it is about this book where I was thinking of books for this recommendation video like that book just came to me and it just felt right so that's why I'm recommending it but it is a really good thriller honestly the ending like low-key blowed my mind because I was not I did not see that coming and I think that this is also just like fantastically written book then I have one of the saddest books that I've ever read and I feel like I haven't recommended or talked about this book in a while but I absolutely love it and, and that is a monster calls by path Patrick Ness I don't know what just came out of my mouth but um this one is about this young boy and he is like dealing with his mother having cancer and it's sort of about the story of how he's dealing with processing that information and then just just dealing with it and he there's this monster that comes like shows himself to him and he has to kind of deal with that and i feel like the whole book is kind of a really beautiful metaphor and story about grief and loss and it's just so so sad and the book also has like these really haunting and beautiful images as well like if you're gonna read this book i definitely recommend the one with the pictures because i know there's copies out there that have like are just the text but the pictures really add to the story and it's just, it's really dark in some ways, but I think it's just, it's a beautiful story. Then is a popular book, but that is Ninth House by Leigh Bardugo. This one is a like dark academia, gothic, urban fantasy story. 
and it's really really good this one is about a girl named alex stern who is who dropped out of school pretty early and she's kind of had a rough life since then she's been dealing with kind of the wrong crowd as one might say and then she is the only survivor of this like homicide and she is mysteriously invited on a full ride scholarship to Yale. So she goes to Yale and she kind of gets thrust into the world of like secret societies and just ghosts and the dead and tombs. And it's just, it's very reminiscent of fall things. Like I feel like spooky Halloween stuff is very, rep it's very like present in this book, but overall it's like dark. It's, it gives me fall vibes, just like the spooky factor and i would definitely recommend it lee bardugo is such a fantastic author i love her so much i love her writing and this one is definitely a great recommendation for this season i still have not read the second book but it is very high on the list of books that i want to read then we have truly devious by maureen johnson i love this series so much this one is about again it's a school setting which obviously gives fall vibes to me it's about ellingham academy which is like this super like elite school for only like the brightest minds and the owner of this like the creator of the school albert his wife and daughter died and the only like thing that was left behind was this note that said truly devious on it and now we're years later and we're following stevie bell who is a student at the school and this crime has not been solved so stevie bell like takes it upon herself to try to figure out what went on and try to solve this mystery but then it seems like truly devious is back and then there's been a murder so she's trying to just figure out what's going on as well as solve the murder from many many years ago this is truly such a fun story again a school setting just gives me fall vibes it has a thriller it has like the contemporary aspects it has like it reminds me very much of like the inheritance games because it's also about like the friendships that she makes with the people at the school and it just it's about like this school is all about learning and games and riddles and making learning fun like almost like a puzzle and so that was very reminds me of the inheritance game so if you liked that book i would definitely recommend truly devious and then the last book i have to recommend is very popular but that is the emperor in the ashes series by sabah tahir this one is a fantasy series also set in like a military academy i don't know just something about a s academy or a school or just something related to academics gives fall vibes to me so anything like fourth wing or an ember in the ashes or like ace of spades or like ninth house like all of these like dark academia school setting related stories are perfect i think for the fall time especially like early fall right when school is starting maybe it's just me maybe i'm trying to romanticize school because i'm not in school anymore but yeah and ember in the ash is such a fantastic series saba tahir really knows how to write like a dark and twisty and emotional story like she's really good at making her characters go through a lot of pain like she's really known for that and so if you're looking for that and a fantastic like plot story setting i would definitely recommend this one this one is about this girl named leia and she is a part of the scribes i want to say or something like not the military people she's like a family of people who used to read and write but sort that's sort of been banned now so she can't do that anymore like she's not supposed to be doing that anymore and then we have elias who is the daughter of the not daughter son of the commander if you're definitely if you're looking for like a rich fantasy setting with school academy vibes i would definitely recommend an ember in the ashes now it's on to the books that i really really want to read this fall the first books that i really really want to get to and i think i definitely will is um finishing the caraval series so i have legendary here this one i only have the dust jacket because i'm actually currently reading this, this is my current read and then of course i have the third book finale i read caraval many many years ago um like for the first time and then i read the second book but i never got around to like actually finishing the series so now i'm like rereading the series i read caraval um earlier this year and then now i'm rereading legendary and then finally getting to the last book then i actually have Saba to here's newest book and that is air this one is set in the um ember the ashes world but it's like a different story i don't even remember what this one's about but the cover absolutely gorgeous cover off like cover designer slayed that so hard 
I absolutely love the cover and I'm actually meeting Sabata here. I'm going to her book signing in October and I feel like this is the first time I'm doing this like after COVID. I don't know if you guys know this, but I used to go to like book signing so often before like COVID happened and after COVID I feel like it took so long for the ball to kind of get rolling with that again, but I'm so excited to go and finally get back to going to book signings. Then I have general fiction actually because this author has been I've been seeing her kind of everywhere and I really want to read her books and that is Firefly Lane by Kristen Hanna and The Woman by Kristen Hanna. I've been seeing these books absolutely everywhere, especially Firefly Lane and this one, like especially this one, I think it deals with like childhood friends that are like women and they're growing up together which sounds exactly on my alley. And then this one is about women in Vietnam and it follows their story. So yeah, I'm really really excited. I've heard so many great things about her books and I have read The Nightingale which I gave 5 stars. I love that book so much um and she does a really good job of writing like really emotional stories and i'm just really excited to get to these ones will i get to both of them i don't know but a girl can hope then i have sort of a stretch book that i don't know if i'm actually gonna get to and that is dune by frank herbert ever since the movie like part two came out i've been wanting to read this book so bad but clearly not bad enough because i haven't actually picked it up and actually haven't even bought it so do I really want to read it? I do. I do want to read it. But I don't know. It's just maybe it's because I've seen the movies. So I kind of know what's going to happen. And it's just a, like a hardcore sci-fi book, which I'm not really used to. But a girl can hope. I'm hoping to get to this at some point. Then I have a fantasy romance book that I've also seen so much about. And that is When the Moon Hatch by Sarah A. Parker. This one is like, I've heard it's Sarah Jane Mass. Like it's good for fans of Sarah J Mass, and you know I love Sarah J Mass. I'm really excited for this one. It is super long. It's like 700 pages, but it is on Kindle Unlimited. Kindle Unlimited, so I'm gonna be taking advantage of that and trying to get through it pretty quickly because I always read like faster on the Kindle. So yeah, I'm really excited about this one. I've been seeing so many good things about it. Then I have Every Hearted Doorway by Shannon McGuire. This one is super, super short. I think it's only like 160 pages or something. But don't tell me this cover doesn't give fall vibes. Like literally the trees, the sun, a door. I don't know. This cover just gives fall vibes to me. And for that reason, I have to read it. So I am going to be reading this soon. I'm hoping to do a 24 hour readathon sometime soon. So I'm probably going to be ended up ending up picking that one up for this because it's short. Um, but yeah, this one purely for the cover, but I've also heard a lot of really great things about like this whole series So I'm excited to read this then is a book that is I think came out just a couple months ago And that is the grandest game by Jennifer Lynn Barnes This is the new spin-off series from the inheritance games, which is a super popular like mystery Series this one follows her after the end and she's sort of starting a game of her own So I'm definitely interested. I know I'm not gonna love this book. I don't know. I'm just getting those vibes but I love like a book with puzzles and clues and games. So if that includes, I think this book does, but if that is something that's in this book, I know I'm gonna enjoy it to some extent. So I am like, it's on my radar for the season. <laughs> Another book that came out early in March and I still haven't read yet, even though I, I think it was on my most anticipated list. And that is A Tempest of Tea by Hafsa Faisal. This one has a, like vampires and like a tea house and a blood house like it gives very much fall vibes with the vampires blood stuff so definitely looking forward to maybe picking this up this season and since i am finishing hopefully the carval series i'm hoping to get to once upon a broken heart because i've heard so many great things about this series i've heard it's like really magical and whimsical and fantastical and that's exactly what the carval series is i feel like the carval series is a few like young adult books that had like fantasy books that has like that enchanting whimsical like carnival aspect to it which i haven't really seen a lot but i really really enjoy it like a carnival with a dark twist to it like you know not everything is as it seems kind of book so i'm really excited for this one then i have a fantasy romance and that is throne of the fallen by carrie maniscalco this one is about the prince of envy that's all i know it is fairly big i want to say it's like 600 pages and but big books always intimidate me but i am determined to get to this book this year i have heard a lot of really great things about it and the premise sounds like fun and interesting so 
Hopefully I'll get to this. Then I have the Very Secret Society of Irregular Witches. This one is like a... All I know is that about it's a witchy story and of course like witches, Halloween, fall. Like, you know, you can see the connection. But I've heard so many good things about this book. I have not picked it up just because like this is not really a genre that I usually read. And so I'm like a little bit intimidated of it. Like, am I going to like it? I think it falls under the cozy fantasy genre, which I don't... I read Emily Wilde's and I think cozy fantasy is just a little bit too slow for me. I like more higher stakes, but I am excited to pick this one up and give it a go to see if I like it. Honestly, Emily Wilde's Encyclopedia of Fairies is the only other cozy fantasy I've read and that one was a little bit too slow for me. So I hope this one, I like it, but I've heard like this one has really good like wholesome vibes as well. And then the last book that I'm hoping to get to is None of, the, None of This is True by Lisa Jewell. This is a super popular thriller book that I've heard a lot about and I feel like fall is a great time for mystery thrillers so I feel like this this season's just good for like darker thriller books this one is about a woman and she meets another woman and there's a podcast involved I like a good plot twist and I'm hoping I, this one has one I like a book to like really get me and I'm, I can't see it coming so I'm excited for this one but yeah that is all for my recommendations of books you should read for fall and some books that I want to read for fall am I actually going to get to reading like all of these books maybe I'll try to read as many of these as I can and then if I have a few left I'll do like a can I finish my fall tbr video to try to wrap everything up all the books that i haven't read but yeah this is sort of what the stack is looking right or like right now for fall obviously i have a lot of other books that are digitally i'll be reading digitally because i don't own them physically but this is i guess what i'm saying is my physical tbr for fall there are there are six books which Loki is a lot because I only end up reading like six books a month so this is almost like a month of reading for me but we'll see hopefully we can get through them but yeah that is it for this video let me know down below if you have any fall recommendations for me as of course I would love to know but that is it for this video hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time bye